Lil Wayne is the latest rapper to endorse Donald Trump or semi-endorse Donald Trump as others are backtracking. You're listening to a Black Talk Radio commentary by Scotty Reed. So Lil Wayne put out a tweet. Let's go to the tweet and read what he said. Um, he put out on Twitter, I believe this was today, just had a great meeting with at real Donald Trump at POTUS. Besides what he's done so far with criminal reform, the platinum plan is going to give the community real ownership. He listened to what we had to say today and assured he will and can get it done. So I guess Ice Cube might have enlisted fellow gangster rapper Lil Wayne Weezy F, whatever that means and what have you. And then... You know, I was saying earlier today, I can't even have a serious political conversation with anyone using gangster rapper names, using a rap name, not using a real name. But again, Donald Trump don't care about them as individuals or human beings. He's trying to use them to solicit votes because they have a celebrity uh, following in the United States worldwide, really, but uh, uh, especially, you know, rappers like Ice Cube. I don't think he's really internationally all of that. Um, so records like that, maybe he has, but that's besides the point. That's what they want. Now, it's just really an insult to critically thinking black voters, people who take this serious and are not first time voters or never voted before in their life, not because their votes were suppressed through um, because they were in prison or they have this felony status and they're in a state that doesn't allow felons to vote in the election, but taxes them. So these are people who are not voting by choice. Okay. That's who he's looking to appeal to. He's looking to bring in first time voters. And if you, I, I'm just going to keep it real I'm just keep it real. Y'all. I always got to keep it real and, and be true. If you calling yourself a nigga, if you calling black women B's and, and H's, y'all know what that mean, bitches and hoes, right? If y'all doing all of that, and, and I really don't have a high opinion of your intellectual capability if you don't see a problem with calling yourself a nigga or calling black women bitches and hoes. You know what I'm saying? If you can't understand why that's not cool to make a living off of promoting that type of so-called culture, which is really a subculture because it's nothing uh, really that is, um, what would you say, intellectually um, challenging about what they do, okay? It is not of the higher arts and architect and all of that type of stuff, literature. It's not that deep. It's gangster rap. It's rap. Sometimes you can't even understand what the people are saying. Right? So anyway, it's just really, it, this is really insulting me. Ice Cube didn't get into politics until, uh, what was that, March when George Floyd got killed? So you mean to tell me he put together this plan, which we know one of the representatives out of Louisiana looked at his plan and, and talked to him and told, gave him his phone number to tell him to call him anytime, but he told him he had a skeleton plan. And Ice Cube admitted in the interview that his plan was incomplete. He told Roland Martin that when he was distancing himself first from Trump by saying his plan is his plan and my plan is my plan, but I think he said their plan is their plan. When he started to get real questions about, well, what part of the platinum plan includes parts from your contract of America? And then he's like, well, his plan, he's deflecting because he know it doesn't include anything. But you know what? It's already legislation that's sitting in the Senate that he has in his contract of America. They probably copied it. I don't know. I can't say. All right. But, this legislation is sitting in the Senate being blocked by Mitch McConnell because the Senate is uh, under a Republican majority right now. He won't even bring the lynching bill to the floor. Police, uh, what is it, Bannon, no not warrants. Fe this is federal legislation we're talking about, which takes precedent over states. And states would have to follow the federal OK, this is legislation put forth by Democrats. I don't know if any Republicans in the House sign on to it. 
you know, it wouldn't be unusual if they did, if you got like two or three. Okay. But anyway, it's being blocked. And so it's tangible stuff like that. that's already been put forth that, and you got Ice Cube admitting that he never even finished his plan. His plan is still a work in progress and, and whatever. I, I guess we can give you an A for effort. You know, they give participation trophies. But I mean, I, I'm just really offended that these people think that they could just jump into this on short notice. And just because of their name and their fame and their money, that they get to talk to the top echelons of the people in power and not really working with the grassroots and what have you, okay? This is just really insulting to me as an intelligent person, let alone a black man that you got white people like Donald Trump uh, who think that these people represent me, okay? Gangster rappers do not represent me. Drug addicts do not represent me. This is what these people have promoted all their lives. And so now Lil Wayne, the question is, is Lil Wayne working with Ice Cube? Because he's mentioned in the contract for a minute. Let's go, you know, look at the tweet again. You know, besides what he's done so far with criminal reform, the platinum plan is going to give the community real ownership. He listened to what we had to say today and assured he will and can get it done. So who is this we? Okay, who is this we? Well, he doesn't mention the contract for America. I may have uh, misunderstood that part, but I'm not so sure. Let me see. This is just, it's just so foul. It's just so foul, all right? And and if you are a, a longtime voter, an educated voter, an intellectual, critical thinker, you should be offended too. But again, this is the, this is the campaign strategy is to get those people who operate on low frequencies, just like Donald Trump's base. What, he, what is his base uh, mainly comprised of? White males who uh, who don't have a college degree, who are high school or may have may not even have a high school diploma. OK, so lowly educated working class whites. And he has uh, used a, a decades, I would say centuries long tactic of promoting using racist dog whistles and promoting white supremacy and playing to people's lower self, if you will, those lower vibrations in order to get votes. Okay. I ain't never been, I ain't never seen an election where so many Republicans have come out against the Republican nominee and not cause he's cleaning up anything in Washington, DC, or he's a fiscal conservative cause he is really blown up the budget. And I have to be fair. Some of that has to do with the coronavirus and what have you. But you know, um, I have never seen so many Republicans, man, that have come out against Donald Trump. Again, I've been voting since 1998, and this is a first for me to see so many people come out against the standard bearer of their party because they don't want they, that, that racist brand. Whether or not they practice codified racism or not is not the question right now. They know that Trump, what some ignorant low frequency black people don't or want to ignore because they think they're going to get something for themselves when how can you trust this liar? But, you know, these people don't have a, a great education either. And what is a fan? If these are Ice Cube fans or Lil Wayne fans, what is a fan? A fan is a fanatic. Does uh, the word fanatic mean logically thinking to you? Or does it su suggest, you know, emotionalism, extreme emotionalism, idolatry? So don't fall for the hype. Don't believe the hype as public enemy uh, would say. And they just released a new album. Check them out. Uh, him and Chuck D. Well, who is it? Uh, Flavor Flav and Chuck D. And they're new DJ. So, man, we're going to get through this. Just a week to go. And, again, you know, Donald Trump's got to go by any means necessary. He is a threat in so many different areas. Not just criminal justice, but 
not just racism and institutional white supremacy, not just his material support for domestic terrorists, neo-confederates and the like, but the climate, this COVID-19 pandemic, he's got to go y'all. Now is not the time um, to play around and do protest votes. Okay. He's got to go. He's got to go. So I hope y'all will hold your nose like I did and, and pull the lever for Biden Harris because he's got to go. Donald Trump is a gump and he's, he's causing the, he's contributing to the deaths of so many people with this pandemic. They didn't have to be. So please continue to support the production of independent media. Make a donation today to the Black Talk Media Project. You can go to blacktalkradionetwork.com and make a donation today. Peace and blessings.